sunrise over the rubber plantations of southern Thailand, where workers have been harvesting the precious liquid through the night. They are isolated. For Uwin Sain and his family, migrant workers from Myanmar, this sap is their lifeblood. They moved here with rubber prices at an all-time high, hoping to save money to build a house in their home country. For each kilogram, they make two dollars, roughly 40 percent of the profit. But far from building a new and better life, they now face sinister consequences. 80 percent of Thailand's rubber is produced in the country's south, which has been racked by an ongoing insurgency. Because of the isolation here, migrant workers are vulnerable to robbery, rape and even murder. We have no value here in this country. The lives of Burmese migrant workers are worth no more than dogs. Early January, his nephews Cho Win and Min Teet were brutally beaten, burned with cigarettes and shot. Their bodies were discovered four days later. Four men, including the former employers of the nephews, have been arrested. It may be a dispute over money, police are investigating. Migrants remain at risk of violence in the remote plantations and worry they will be next. I worry what will happen if these people are released. Will they come after us? It's not safe. It's on their mind every night as they begin the long passage through the trees. Like countless other migrants drawn to the rubber industry in Thailand, they seek a quick dollar but live in fear. Ella Callan. Al Jazeera, near Surat Thani, southern Thailand.